curious because we have one of the women really interested in thinking about um, what, what we consider um, what our sort of lived environment is like in the US, and I think that's experienced in Italy and the people all over the world because people all over the world. So do people take these drugs in Italy? Are you ready in the United States? A lot of young people are prescribed um, sorts of drugs starting at a very early age. By the time to, by the time to get to college, a huge number of um, American youth are taking um, prescription medications for anxiety, depression, um, ADD. And these, I, again, I, I, you know, we're having a cross cultural moment. Do you guys have this in? Yes. Yes, we do. And so um, the, the video is about people from all over the world talking into their cameras about the drugs they're taking, um, uh, prescription medication. Given that that was more clear, what, what, what kinds of thoughts does that raise for any of you? In fact, as well,
it's that many people here would much rather actually communicate to another person than a camera, which I think is a very different thing culturally to what goes on here in America. Because I think people in America are much more inclined to go into their room and be confessional to a camera and then put something on YouTube, whereas in, whereas in Europe, people <laughs> go out and have a coffee in a, in a cafe and have a conversation. So that's, I thought that was quite interesting. Um, that's something I just observed. And perhaps even as a stereotype of Italians, and I said sometimes in Italy, but you know, you were very um, expressive. Yeah, you and it, it's, a, it's a society that we're measuring meals together and yeah. you know, coffee together, and you know, and in our society right now, it's very out of line. So people really do spend a lot of time on those really machines, and you know, I don't want to be a stereotype. Your culture is changing very quickly, but it's certainly my experience in Italy. Well, it's easier to use.